You've been on YouTube for a while, but should you remake your old videos? That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now, if you're new around here and you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there into the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. Now, it happens to us all. You'll start a YouTube channel, you'll write down a load of good ideas, and you'll put up videos on your YouTube channel over the first couple of weeks, couple of months, maybe even the first couple of years. But in some cases, you can't help but feel that you could have got a little bit more out of that video. So maybe you should remake it. Now, before I deep dive into why you should remake and how to remake some of your old content, I want to know, have you ever remade your content? Are there some videos that you really love in your back catalog that you wish that you could go back and improve on, that you know that you could do better on? Is there topics that you'd like to expand on? Maybe you rushed into that video a bit too much, or you was a bit rambling, you know that you could be more short and concise. Please leave a comment down below. Now, this channel is rapidly approaching one year of being on YouTube. In the next couple of months, I'll be, I don't know, 150 odd videos deep, and there'll be a lot of videos on here that maybe I could do a little bit better with. Maybe I could have got a, a little bit more lift from them. And I'm asked countless times, should I go back and remake videos? Now, I'm here to tell you why you should do and how to approach it. The more videos you create on YouTube, the better you get at creating videos on YouTube. It could be the lighting, it could be the way you feel, the way you present yourself, the way you dress, the audio, the visuals, the graphic work. Now, all of these over time improve and improve the quality of your content and your videos. Now, I've done many, many, many videos on YouTube. Over the last five, six years, I, there must be a thousand odd videos of my face out there on the interwebs. So I tend to go by three rules when remaking a video. One, if you can remake the video and you want to remake the video and you know that when you remake that video, you can do better lighting, better audios and better effects. That video could have a very good message that you know could have got a better result if you'd approached it differently. Maybe you shouldn't have been sat in that broom cupboard running on a compact camera with really crappy tinny audio and lighting where it's orange and you're filming it at eight, nine, ten o'clock at night on a, in, in a winter evening and your next door neighbor's screaming and shouting and you've got air conditioning on in the background. If you know that you can strip out all of those and you know you can make a much better version of that video then go for it. Two, your video could have been a, a fantastic, genius idea. Why not add to the information within that, expand the knowledge that it can spoon feed people, and repackage that video, remake that idea. I've got a couple of videos right at the start of this channel where the thumbnail could have been a bit better, the lighting could have been a bit better, I've, I've got better at the lighting and the dialing in and the editing. So I will be going back and revisiting those or making a, a re retitling them and spinning them slightly differently, adding a different level of information to them so they're still informationally helpful but delivers a similar-esque message and then that way you've recycled the core heart of that video. And three, maybe you don't need to remake that specific video, but what you can do is take inspiration from that and either make a follow-up video or some kind of spin-off. So for example, on here, I've done a how to grow your YouTube channel live stream, and that did really, really well. So what I did was pair it up with some sister videos that weren't live streams that were actually video, which was how to grow your gaming channel, how to grow a vlogging channel, how to grow an educational channel. I've got a playlist for, for those up here. You see, what I did there is I took the same idea, but span it off a little bit, gave a little bit more information in a different specific niche or a different direction. Or I have done videos on how to get your first 100 subscribers and how to get your first 1000 subscribers. They're up here in the cards. Those connect to each other. The first one, how to get your 100 subscribers, goes through the core basics and how to get your first 1000 subscribers, echoes back to the basics that the first 100 needs and then adds additional like tips and tricks to it. At the end of the day, those are fantastic nuggets of ideas and if you know that you can deliver it better, optimize it better, a better title, a better description, a better tag, a better thumbnail, a better promotion, more energy, then go for it. And if you need more tips on how to twist those or maybe improve how you're creating that video, there's a playlist of 
YouTube hacks up here. But that is why you should consider remaking some of your videos. For more tricks and tips on how to grow your YouTube channel, it's a free PDF up here in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button for all these wonderful YouTube tricks and tips. Hit that notification icon so you don't miss the next video when I upload. Go up there, start creating.